learning objectives. At the end of this topic, you will be able to understand the properties of square number, finding the square of a number, calculate square roots by prime factorization, finding square root by division method, describe square roots of decimals. Introduction Squares When a number is multiplied by itself, we say that the number can be squared. It is denoted by a number raised to the power 2. Example, 4 into 4 is equal to 16. 5 into 5 is equal to 25. Perfect square A number is called a perfect square if it is expressed as the square of a number. Consider the square table. 1 squared is equal to 1. 2 squared is equal to 4, 3 squared is equal to 9, 4 squared is equal to 16, 5 squared is equal to 25, 6 squared is equal to 36, 7 squared is equal to 49, 8 squared is equal to 64, 9 squared is equal to 81, 10 squared is equal to 100, 11 squared is equal to 121, 12 squared is equal to 144. Properties of square numbers The numbers ending with 0, 1, 4, 5, 6 or 9 in the unit's place are called perfect squares. Look at the perfect square numbers chart. Observe the unit place of this number. These numbers have either 0 or 1 or 4 or 5 or 6 or 9 in the unit's place. Properties of squares of a number ending with 1 or 9. The square of 1 is 1. The square of 9 is 81. The square of 11 is 121. The square of 19 is 361. The square of 21 is 441. The square of 29 is 841. By observing these set of numbers, we can conclude if a number ending with 1 or 9 in the unit's place, then the square of that number must have a 1 in the unit's place. Properties of squares of a number ending with 4 or 6 4 squared is 16, 6 squared is 36, 14 squared is 196, 16 squared is 256. 24 squared is 576. 26 squared is 676. If a number ends with 4 or 6 in the unit's place, then the square of that number must have 6 in the unit's place. Properties of squares of a number ending with 0. 10 squared is equal to 100. 100 squared is equal to 10,000. 2,000 squared is equal to 40 lakhs. By observing these numbers, we can conclude if a number has one zero in the unit's place, then the square of that number will have two zeros in its unit's place. If you have two zeros in the unit's place, then the square of that number will have four zeros in the unit's place. Triangular numbers. The number one can be represented by one dot. The number 3 can be represented by 3 dots in a triangular shape. The number 6 can be represented by 6 dots as triangular shape. The number 10 can be represented by 10 dots as triangular shape. The number 15 can be represented by 15 dots as triangular shape. By combining the triangular numbers 1 and 3, we get the perfect square number 4. By combining the triangular numbers 3 and 6, we get the perfect square number 9. By combining the triangular numbers 6 and 10, we get the next perfect square number 16. By combining the triangular numbers 10 and 15, we get the next perfect square number 25. In this way, subsequent square numbers can be obtained from triangular numbers. Numbers between square numbers. In general, there are two n 
non perfect square numbers between the squares of the numbers n and n plus 1. Let us find out how many non square numbers are there between two square numbers. Consider the numbers between 1 and 36. 1 squared is 1. So 1 is a perfect square number. 2 squared is 4. So 4 is a perfect square number. 3 squared is 9. So 9 is a perfect squared number. 4 squared is 16. So 16 is a perfect square number. 5 squared is 25. So 25 is a perfect square number. 6 squared is 36. Therefore 36 is also a perfect square number. Observe the non-square numbers between 1 and 4. We have two numbers, 2, 3. Observe the non-square numbers between 4 and 9. We have four numbers, 5, 6, 7, 8. Again, observe the non-square numbers between 9 and 16. We have six numbers. In between 16 and 25, we have eight non-square numbers. In between 25 and 36, we have 10 non-square numbers. Relation of consecutive odd numbers to squares. 1 squared is equal to 1. 2 squared is equal to 4. That can be obtained by sum of first two odd numbers, that is 1 plus 3. 3 squared is equal to 9. That can be obtained by the sum of the first three odd numbers, that is 1 plus 3 plus 5. 4 squared is equal to 16. That can be obtained by sum of first four odd numbers, that is 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7. 5 squared is equal to 25 that can be obtained by the sum of the first five odd numbers, that is 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9. In general, we can say n squared is equal to sum of first n odd natural numbers. Finding the square of a number without actual multiplication. Find the value of 43 squared. Solution. 43 squared is equal to 40 plus 3 whole squared is equal to 40 plus 3 into 40 plus 3 is equal to 40 into 40 plus 3 plus 3 into 40 plus 3 is equal to 1600 plus 120 plus 120 plus 9. 43 squared is equal to 1849. Rule. N5 squared is equal to N into N plus 1 hundreds plus 25, where 5 is in the units place. Find the square of 25. Here N is equal to 2. Therefore, 25 squared is equal to 2 into 2 plus 1. Hundreds plus 25 is equal to 2 into 3 hundreds plus 25 is equal to 6 hundreds plus 25 is equal to 6 hundred plus 25. 25 squared is equal to 625. Pythagorean triplets. A Pythagorean triplet is a set of positive integers a, b and c that fit the rule a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Example, the smallest Pythagorean triplet is 3, 4 and 5. Let's check it. 3 squared plus 4 squared is equal to 5 squared. By calculating the values, 9 plus 16 is equal to 25. Let us consider another set of numbers 6, 8, 10, which also fits the formula a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. 6 squared plus 8 squared is equal to 10 squared. 36 plus 64 is equal to 100. What will be the unit digit of the squares of the following numbers? 26. Solution. The last digit of the number is 6. Therefore, by the property, the last digit of the square number is 6. 459. The last digit of the number is 9. Therefore, by the property, the last digit of the square number will be 1. 565. The last digit of the number is 5. Therefore, by the property, the last digit of the square number 
will be 5. Square Roots Square root is the inverse operation of square. For example, 3 squared is equal to 9, and the square root of 9 is 3. The symbol of square root is... Now let us learn square root for some numbers. 1 squared is equal to 1. Square root of 1 is 1. 2 squared is equal to 4. Square root of 4 is 2. 3 squared is equal to 9. Square root of 9 is 3. 4 squared is equal to 16. Square root of 16 is 4. 5 squared is equal to 25. Square root of 25 is 5. 6 squared is equal to 36. Square root of 36 is 6. 7 squared is equal to 49. Square root of 49 is 7. 8 squared is equal to 64. Square root of 64 is 8. 9 squared is equal to 81. Square root of 81 is 9. 10 squared is equal to 100. Square root of 100 is 10. We have three methods for finding square roots. Repeated subtraction, prime factorization, long division. Square root by repeated subtraction. Find the square root of 64 by repeated subtraction. Solution. We have to subtract consecutive odd numbers from the given number till we get 0. Step 1. 64 minus 1 is equal to 63. Step 2. 63 minus 3 is equal to 60. Step 3. 60 minus 5 is equal to 55. Step 4. 55 minus 7 is equal to 48. Step 5. 48 minus 9 is equal to 39. Step 6. 39 minus 11 is equal to 28. Step 7. 28 minus 13 is equal to 15. Step 8. 15 minus 15 is equal to 0. Therefore, we get 0 in 8 steps, so the square root of 64 is 8. Square root by prime factorization. Find the square root by prime factorization. 4,356 We can divide 4,356 by 2,178 times. This by 2,178 can be divided by 2 by 1,089 times. 1,089 can be divided by 3 by 363 times. 363 can be divided by 3 by 121 times. Again, 121 can be divided by 11 by 11 times. Therefore, the prime factorization of 4,356 is 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 11 into 11. Therefore, the square root of 4,356 is equal to square root of 2 into 2 is 2. The square root of 3 into 3 is 3. The square root of 11 into 11 is 11. Hence, the square root of 4,356 is 2 into 3 into 11 is equal to 66. Square root by long division method. Find the square root by long division method. 729. First, let us place a bar over every pair of digits from right to left. That is, starting from the unit's digit. Take the first pair of digits, or the single digit as the case may be. In this case, it is the digit 7. Find the greatest number whose square is 7 or less than 7. Such a number is two twos are four. Write two on the top in the quotient and also in the divisor. Subtract four from seven. Double the quotient to get four and enter it with a blank on its right at the place of the new divisor. The remainder is three. Bring down the pair of digits under the next bar that is 29 to the right of the remainder. So, the new dividend is 329. 
Find the largest possible digit to fill the blank, which will also become the new digit in the quotient, such that when the new divisor is multiplied by the new digit in the quotient, the product is less than or equal to the dividend. In this case, 47 into 7 is equal to 329. Place 129 under 156. Subtract and get the remainder 0. Hence, the square root of 729 is equal to 27. Summary Let's summarize the topic. If a natural number m can be expressed as n squared, where n is also a natural number, then m is a square number. All square numbers ending with 0, 1, 4, 5, 6 or 9 in the unit's place. Square numbers can only have even number of zeros in the end. Square root is the inverse operation of square. There are two integral square roots of a perfect square number. Positive square root of a number is denoted by the symbol. For example, 3 squared is equal to 9. And square root of 9 is equal to 3. 